Hello everyone, it's me again. It's Rob, Rob Bidoff. Here I am and we are here for another edition of Draw with Rob. So you might know me from books like this one, which is called Sunk, which is all about pirate penguins. Now there's another thing that you might know me from. You know World Book Day, when you do World Book Day at school, well, I am the official World Book Day illustrator and there's lots of these little bookmark characters. You can't see them very well, can you? So I'm against my, my lovely sausage dog backdrop. But these are all my little World Book Day bookmark characters that you might have seen in your school. And they're really cool, these bookmarks. You can get them in some bookshops. You can pick them up for free in some bookshops. But what's really cool about them, they've got nice pictures on the front like this unicorn bookmark here. If you turn them over, look, there's some story recommendations for you. So this one says five stories to share starring fantastic beasts. It gives you some really, really cool stories like that you can read. So they're pretty cool. So you might know me from that kind of stuff. I'm not sure. Now today, let me get my piece of paper. We are going to be doing something a little bit different. I thought, you all know what I look like. I always show you that picture of me, don't know, at the beginning of my sessions, that picture of me in my book. But I have no idea what lots of you look like. So I thought today it might be a good idea if we all drew a self-portrait together. Now, a self-portrait is a drawing of yourself. It really is that simple. So what I thought I'd do, I would show you how to draw. We'll put together like a basic human figure. Okay, so I'll draw a head, we'll draw a top, we'll draw some legs, some feet, some arms and some hands, some eyes, a nose and a mouth. And then you can do what you like from then on. You have to do a picture of yourself so you can add your hair, your clothes, that kind of thing. Okay, sound like a good plan? I thought so. Right, so this is how it's going to work. You've done this before, I'm sure, but just in case you haven't, I am going to start the drawing on my piece of paper here. We're just going to draw a little bit at a time so we all get the same result at the end. So I'm going to draw something here. Then you pause your video and you, drew what I, you draw what I drew. Then I'll draw a bit more. Then you'll draw a bit more. Then I'll draw a bit more, etc., etc., etc. And then at the end, we'll have a lovely template to decorate, to look just like ourselves, okay? So we're going to start with a very, very simple shape. We are gonna start with a lovely big circle, like that, in the middle of our piece of paper, just like that, okay? Easy peasy to start with, okay? Now, I think we're gonna do a nose a bit like this. In the middle of our piece of paper, I want you just to draw a small straight line, like that, in the middle of our circle and that piece of paper, both in fact. <laughs> and at the bottom of that little straight line, let's just draw a little curve like that. And that is gonna be, believe it or not, that is gonna be our nose. Now we need to do some nice big eyes next to our nose. So just coming out of the sort of the round bit of our nose, I want you to draw a lovely big circle like that. That's gonna be one of our eyes. And then I want you to do one on the other side, the same, as close to the same size as you can get, like that. Mine's much smaller, isn't it? But that's lucky because I think I have got one eye slightly smaller than the other. <laughs> I sound very strange, don't I? <laughs> oh well, never mind. Right, now we need to do some pupils in our eyes. Now I'm gonna do mine. I'm not gonna do them right in the middle, looking straight at us. I'm gonna do mine looking up and to the left, like that. sort of thoughtful. I'm a very thoughtful sort of a person, actually. Um, <laughs> right, where are we next? Mouth, let's draw a mouth. I'm gonna do a mouth, I'm gonna do it nice and close to the nose, like this. Yep. Little, I'm gonna do mine smiley. You might not want to do your smiley. I don't know, maybe you're not a very smiley sort of person, but I am, so there we go. Nice smiley mouth. Okay, let's add some ears. So next to where we've done the eyes, we're gonna add some ears. All we're gonna do here is on the sides of the heads, head, there's only one head, I've only got one head, we're gonna draw a sort of C shape like that. And then we'll do the same on the other side, shall we? And then, you know the ears, you know your ears, they've got those sort of funny, sort of holy, swirly sort of bits in them. 
I, you know, I, I've told you this before, I'm lazy. I'm not gonna spend hours getting it all exactly right. Instead, I'm just gonna do a swirl like that. And that's my ear, that's how I draw ears. What do you think of that? Do the same on the other side. There we go, two ears. This is looking pretty good so far. And I don't forget, at the moment, this particular character is totally bald because we're gonna leave it bald because at the end, I'm gonna get you to add your own hairstyle at the top here. Okay, so, but what we will add, we will add some eyebrows, shall we? One eyebrow above that eye. One eyebrow above that eye. I tell you what, let's add some eyelashes too. So just on each side of the eye, we'll add a few there. We need another bit. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five, six. There we go. Some eyelashes. Okay, next thing we're going to draw the body part. So, nice and easy this. Basically, we're gonna draw a rectangle shape underneath our head, but we're gonna make it slightly wider at the bottom than the top, very slightly, just like that, okay? Now, if you want to draw yourself wearing a dress, then you need to make, you might need to make this shape a little bit longer because I'm just gonna draw a top and I'm gonna draw some legs coming out of it. But if you want to make it look like you're wearing a dress, then you can just do this shape a bit longer and maybe make the legs a bit smaller. It's up to you. Okay, let's do, what should we do next? Let's do the arms next. So the arms, we are gonna draw one line coming down diagonally from the, the point where our top joins the head. And then we're gonna do the other line just a bit below, but going in the same direction join it up at the end. And then let's do the same on the other side. Exactly the same, try and make them the same size. I think I've done it again, haven't I? I think that one's a bit smaller than that one. Do you know what? It doesn't matter. Nobody is perfectly symmetrical. Now hands. Lots of children tell me they have trouble drawing hands. So I'm going to show you a very simple way to do hands, okay? What you do is at the end, coming out of the end of your sleeve, we're just going to draw a little semicircle like that, okay? And then coming out of that semicircle, we're going to draw another little semicircle there for the thumb, and then four more. One, two, three, four. That's a very simple way of doing a hand. I think it looks like a palm, doesn't it? Let's do the same over here. Semicircle, thumb, one, two, Many fingers? Five, that's right, five. It is five, isn't it? Yes, five. So there we go. There is the top half of our person. Legs. Right, let's, let's make this simple. <coughs> Excuse me, we're gonna make it nice and simple. We're gonna draw a rectangle coming down there, like that. And then we're gonna draw another rectangle coming down there, like that. Very simple. Legs. And then last but not least for this particular human, let's draw a couple of little feet. So just easy shapes like that, sort of like a rectangle with a curved end. We'll do the same over here. Rectangle, curved end. And there is our basic human template. Now, what's that tip I always tell you about? Shadow, I'm obsessed with these shadows, aren't I? But I am gonna do it here. Right where his foot or her foot touches the ground, we are just gonna do a bit of scribble, coming off to the side like that, to make it look like our human is standing on the ground. Whoa, left-handed smudges, look at that. Right, now, this is the really fun bit, because you get to turn this character into you. So, if you have got long, curly hair, you can add lots of long, curly hair to your character. If you have a great big ginger beard, you can add a great big ginger beard to your character. Then you know what you can do? You can give your character any outfit that you like. Maybe you like dressing up as a pirate. You can turn your character into a pirate. I don't know, or maybe, um, what about a fairy? You can turn your character into a fairy, or you could draw a great big horn here on the middle of the head and turn your character into a unicorn. Or you can just give it dress your character in your favourite outfit, whatever you're wearing at the moment. That might be quite a cool thing to do. I think that's what I might do, actually. So, to do mine, I am going to go into super speedy mode, okay? So, I am going to see you on the other side of my super speedy drawing, okay? Three, two, one, 
ヘルヤ So, there we go. My little self-portrait. I'm not sure how much that looks like me. And look, I made a terrible mess smudging over there, but that's left-handers for you. Um, the last thing to do, remember with our drawings, of course, as always, we're gonna sign our name down there at the bottom. And you know what? I'm really excited to see all of your self-portraits today because I get to see what you will look like. So I'm hoping to see lots and lots and lots of lovely outfits and lots of drawings and fantastic hairstyles. Maybe some of you can be wearing hats. I don't know if some of you are gonna be drawing yourself, holding the pictures that you're drawing. This is like a drawing within a drawing, isn't it, this one? But that's how you know me, isn't it, from Draw With Rob. So I thought I would show you a picture of me holding a pencil and a picture of Gregosaurus. Anyway, don't forget to share your pictures with me. So get somebody to take a picture of your picture and put it up on the social media that you're watching this on, or Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. And if you use the hashtag Draw With Rob, then I will likely see it and I will tell you what I think of your drawing. So listen, thank you so much for listening to me again today, and I am gonna be back very soon for another episode of Draw With Rob. Until then, take care.